Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Steffi Drew and I'm super excited about the video that I'm doing with you guys today. As many of you may have seen, last year I did a project with a company called Sumi Sierra. They reached out to me to try out their entire experience. Now Sumi Sierra is a, an online company that provides women's tailor-made clothing, affordable tailor-made clothing. What I really like about them is the fact that they're super transparent about how they make their clothes, where they make their clothes, who's making their clothes. So if it's something that interests you, then most, if not all of the answers are on their website. Now as someone who is six foot two, the idea of having custom made clothing that is made to fit my long uh, thin frame was very, very appealing. So of course I gave it a try. I'll put a little card up in the corner so that you guys can check it out. I did the whole experience. I was able to buy one of their suits and one of their blouses. And I took you guys step by step through the ordering process, how you can customize your entire order. And then I fast forwarded to when I received it, tried it on, and I showed you guys how it turned out. I was very, very pleased with the outcome. And so you can probably imagine that when they reached out to me again, I was very excited to do another order. This time around, we are not doing a suit. We are actually gonna try some of their other items. And so since it's springtime, I figured let's do a dress and a trench coat. I'm gonna take you back to the website. I have my computer here in front of me. Take you to the website. I'm gonna take you through the process and then I'm gonna fast forward and we're gonna try it on and see how it goes. Let's go over to the website. So as you can see here, I am on their front page. Well, I'm gonna just jump right into it. Uh, we are doing dresses. They do have a couple options. They have some that are already available for you to choose, uh, but today we are going to design your dress. So they have two different kinds of dresses. So the options that they have for evening dresses um, are, I would say a little bit more by the looks of the material and the style, something that you would do for bridesmaids dresses. The material looks a little bit lighter. Um, and then these are the color options that they have. Now one thing, I did take a look at these before so that I would kind of have an idea of what I was doing. Um, I looked at the colors and to be honest, I kind of like some of the options here. Um, what I'm going to make today is an all-purpose dress. Um, there are more color options, but in comparison to, if you watch my other video, in comparison to the suits, there are not nearly as many options uh, in terms of fabric. There's not as many diverse fabrics because these are all kind of one color. Um, the other ones had patterns and all that kind of stuff, which I was kind of looking forward to. If I were to get a dress, I would kind of love to get a blazer that matched, but they don't have some of the fabrics in the dresses that I would want a coordinating blazer to, if that makes sense. Anyways, so today we're making a dress. Um, these are the options, shift dress, sheath dress, high-waisted sheath and wrapped dress. So. I want to do a sheath dress, nice little waist accentuation, and I decided because it is spring, um, there's lots of different color options, and every time you click something new, um, it shows you what it would look like. But I want to do a white dress. Now you can do two-tone, as you can see down here, there's skirt options, so I'm going to change that right away too. Uh, A-line, flared, and pencil. I wanna do a flare dress today, something a little bit whimsical and cute. And like I said, when you choose different colors, it changes it on the photo of your outfit. But I wanna do an all white dress, something that's light and springy, and something that I don't actually already have in my closet. Now back up to necklines. There's a variety of different necklines that you can choose. Uh, crew, round, bow, v-neck, v-neck middle, v-neck deep, if you wanna show off the girls. Uh, U-neck and halter. I think I'm just gonna do a very simple crew neck. I wanna do like a very basic dress. Uh, sleeves, now I'm gonna go sleeveless. I've already decided I wanted a sleeveless dress, but you've got without sleeves, cap sleeves, short sleeves, elbow sleeves, three quarter sleeves, long sleeves and bell sleeves and there's the option for pockets and obviously I'm going to get pockets 
So those are all the dress options. They're all pretty straightforward. Um, also, I didn't show you, but the fabric info, it does show you exactly what you're getting and what your dress is being made out of, if that's something you wanted to know. So this is the dress that I'm going to be getting. I think it's very simple, something that I would be able to accessorize really well. All the details are over on the side, made to measure, receive it in 15 days. Okay, so we're gonna add to bag. So now we're going to make our trench coat. Um, and just like everything else, they do have some that are already pre-made with all the details. So timeless trench coat, short trench coats, long trench coats, all trench coats. But because I want it to be as custom as possible, I'm going to design my own trench coat. Now I've already decided that I want a very classic trench coat. So, I mean, maybe I don't really have to design mine because I feel like for a classic one, they'd probably already have it pre-made, but I want to go through the process. Okay, so design your trench coat. All right, so right off the bat, it shows us all of, so we've got fabric, style, and accents. So we're gonna start with fabric. Now, be, I said I wanted to make the most classic trench coat that I could. So we're gonna look through all of these. So these are all the colors and the materials. I feel like wing. sand, water resistant. Okay, so I'm gonna do Mooney for my trench coat. Um, I also like that it, it, that they're water resistant. Obviously, if you want a coat, you want it to be the most functional piece of clothing, especially if it's an investment piece, which I would say all of the pieces that you would get from Sumi Sierra are investment pieces, even though you're not necessarily spending an arm and a leg like you would uh, getting other things custom tailored. It is still an investment and it's still, you're still spending your money. They're, they're more affordable than other pieces, but they're still not cheap. So it's nice to know that the materials that they're using are materials that are going to stand the weather and stand the test of time. So we've chosen our fabric, Mooney. Now we're gonna go over to style. Now we've got lots of options to choose. So start at the top and work our way down. Single breasted, double breasted. I would say the double breasted is probably the more classic style. Standard hidden. Yeah, double breasted is the more classic style in my opinion. Length. Ooh, this is something I wasn't entirely sure of. Long, medium, short. I feel like a medium length is probably the most versatile option. Fit, slim fit, straight. Initially I was thinking slim fit, but I think I'm gonna go with straight. Because it, I, I am going to get one with a belt on it and I feel like if I wanted a little more waist, then I could do that but if, I'm probably going to be wearing it open most of the time anyways, so I want it to sit nice and straight. So I'm gonna go straight with this one. Pockets. Now the default is diagonal. Diagonal with button. Well, obviously I need pockets. I'm going to choose regular diagonal belt uh, yes belt half belt no belt half belt no half belt is just the little one on the back I want the full belt loose belt shoulders without Oh, I definitely want the um, little like epaulets on the top. Ooh, single gun flap with button. Double gun flap with button. Hmm, hold on, I need to look at this detail. You know what, I'm gonna go without. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with the default. Sleeves. 
straps, standard, straps, buttons. Yes, I'm going with straps. I feel like all the default uh, things that they have for their jacket are the things that I wanted in a jacket. Back piece, without, with. Ventless, center vent. I say ventless, with. I want with the button. Accents. Internal lining. Ooh, a custom color. <gasps> okay. One of the things that I really loved about my blazer was the fact that I had a custom lining on the inside. So yes, I'm going to put a custom lining on the inside of this. Let me quickly browse the options that they have. Um, Hilda it is, Hilda it is. That's my final, final decision. Monogram, so I did get uh, my initials monogrammed on my last jacket and I really, really loved that feature. So I'm going to do it again. My initials. You know what, I'm just gonna get the monogram in gray because I don't want it to stand out and I, I feel like on the Hilda Lining, I feel like that gray color will be nice. Neck lining. Now, I don't think I did this. Ooh. Neck lining, custom color. Do I want that? I don't think I do. I don't want to have too many details going on. I feel like if I didn't do um, a lining, then I might consider doing a neck lining, but I feel like because I have that busy pattern on the inside, I don't need something that's like lining the neck. So we're gonna keep that default. Elbow patches. Uh, I feel like that kind of takes away from the classic look, so we're gonna go without. And threads by default. I'm gonna keep default threads. Buttonholes, button threads. Yeah, we're gonna keep all of that default. So by the, on the outside, it's gonna look pretty standard. It's going to look like a nice classic trench coat, but bam, on the inside, it's gonna be, have a little bit of fun going on. So I believe, so we've got fabric, check, style, check, accents, check. That is everything. So next, okay. So I've customized everything that I wanted. I've got a white dress. I've got a classic trench coat with a little pizzazz. Uh, and so now I'm on my shopping cart page. Um, so I'll show you just to kind of go over everything. It says, so orders over $150, they do free shipping, which is really awesome. One of the really awesome parts about this company um, is that they usually are, I mean, give and take, depending on like shipping with post. I feel like right now I wouldn't be surprised if things are delayed, but they do say 15 days total. That includes tailoring, that includes shipping. So because of the time that we're in right now, I feel like things might be a little bit delayed and that is totally okay. I'm not going to knock them for that. Um, but any other time, uh, that it should take a total of 15 days from when you make your order. Uh, so according to this, it says I should receive my order by May 13th, which is actually my boyfriend's birthday. So the total for the jacket and the dress is $343.90. That is less than $400 for a custom made trench coat, a beautiful classic trench coat and a custom made dress. So you probably noticed while we were selecting all the details for our items that there was no options to choose any sizes whatsoever. Like you saw on the uh, checkout page, before you actually check out, the button says measurements and checkout. So before you check out, you buy anything, it's gonna take you through and show you how to measure, where to measure, um, so that you can have these items made literally specifically to your body. The one thing that I do feel like I made a bit of a mistake before is when I went through, I wasn't really taking it, taking into account any sort of wiggle room. So when I ordered my suit last time, my suit fit beautifully, but I did feel like 
my pants were a little bit tight. And that's because when I was measuring myself, I was literally doing the very exact measurement. And I think it would be a lot smarter to do like an extra, I don't know what it typically is, and it might be a good idea to actually Google this, um, but the typical like allowance for when you're making custom garments. So I'll probably give myself a little bit of space because obviously when I put my dress on, I want it to be fitted, but I don't want to like have to like do the zipper up and like I don't want that to be a thing. So I'm going to quickly go through and redo all of my measurements. That way I'm not like trying to squeeze myself into this dress. And then I'm going to check out and then I'll see you guys in 50 days. Look what I have. Today is Friday, May 15th. So when I made my order, it did say the predicted delivery date was May 13th and they did do an attempted delivery and I don't know if it's because we didn't hear the doorbell. Some, they don't usually ring our doorbell. I don't know why I bought one, but we missed them. So I had to go to a pickup point to go pick it up. I got it. Anyways, what I was getting at, they said 15 days total, including tailoring and shipping, free shipping over $150. I got all of that. It did come the day it was supposed to. I just didn't actually get it in my hands. A couple things I wanted to touch on before we open it and try it on. So I got a big check mark for delivery time. Another thing that I wanted to touch on, I wrote a couple things down so I don't forget. So they have a perfect fit guarantee. That means that if your item doesn't fit, you pick the tailor, we pick up the cost. So if it's something that just needs to be tailored, you can bring it to a tailor near you and they will cover the cost. Now I don't, I haven't had to do that with my last order, so I don't know exactly, but I'm sure if you contact their customer service, they'd be able to help you out with that. And I'm sure, like they are so transparent, so I feel like the process would actually go through uh, very easily. Um, if it is something that is unalterable, so it does not fit you and it's not something that you can just alter, they will remake it. I have not had that issue. My last order fit me um, very nicely. The pants were a little bit tight, but I wanted to bring that up because if it's something, um, because you are taking your own measurements, I feel like you have to keep that in mind that if you made the error, then that might also be why it doesn't fit. So I'm not entirely sure if they pick up the cost if it's like a self-made error or if they only do if it's their error, but just want to throw it out there. Let's just open this up. So it comes in a nice little dust bag. Sunisira. Read me before wear. Care and washing instructions. So it comes with all the instructions you need. Um, right here and it also makes no chalk spots as all our products are exquisitely handmade you can occasionally find some chalk spots on your garments these can be easily removed with a damp cloth or a very soft brush there's also a little thank you note oh. uh, thank you so much for this new order excuse me I'm in a high traffic area where we truly appreciate appreciate your loyalty we hope you will enjoy your new garment it's always a pleasure to serve you by the way, did you know you can earn money for your next purchases very easily? Oh, this is this is something new. Take a photo of you wearing your garment. Post a review of your purchase along with the photo um, at website. Write us at uh, so we can validate your credit right away. So it's ten dollars. Speaking of earning credit towards your next purchase, I do have a way that you can save if you want to make one. So stay tuned to the end because I will share with you uh, if you do want a discount and you're intrigued and you want to order something for yourself, I have something for you. We're going to pull it out. I know it's been so long. It's been a whole two weeks. Well, for you, it's been like two minutes. So I'm going to quickly show you and then I'm just going to put it on and hopefully everything fits. So this dress, oh, maybe I should have hung this and steamed it. Whatever, I'm gonna try it on right away. Um, this is my dress. It feels very, the material feels really light. It feels really nice, it feels really light. Uh, by the looks of it, there's like, a, it is double lined, so there's like this champagne colored lining, which will hopefully ensure that nothing is see-through. That's the only thing that I'm afraid about a little uh, when it comes to ordering anything white or wearing anything white is that it's see-through, but it is double lined right into the bottom. There's like a built-in slip out of that same champagne color. Um, so it's double lined. The seams all look really nice. It looks just like a nice, sharp, exactly what I ordered. 
Um, I mean, I don't know if there's much to say when I haven't tried it on, so we'll do that momentarily. And I'm so excited for, before I like unwrap it, can we just look, look at this. Look at the detail on the inside. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, well, I got the double breasted. There's the epaulets on the side. There's a little bit of, feels like a shoulder pad, um, just to give you some nice structure. But back, oh my God, this feels so nice. Front. Um, oh, also I wanna look for, before I put it on, I wanna find um, where my initials are. And it's right over the inside pocket. Look. Oh, can you see it? I wasn't sure if the um, was, if that was going to be on the lining or if it's gonna be on there, so I wasn't sure what color to get. Kind of focusing. Anyways, this little, de don't mind my nails. I haven't been to a nail salon, obviously, in a very long time. Um, but this little detail, you can kind of see. We're not focusing, but I just think that's such a lovely detail, being able to put your initials on the inside um, of any blazer or jacket. Because if it's going to be tailor-made and it's gonna be made to fit your body, having that little touch, I just think it's so, ele it's elevated. It just elevates the whole thing. So, without further ado, I'm gonna try the dress on and then I'm gonna put this jacket over top. Fingers crossed everything fits. It looks beautiful. The, the real test is going to be, does it fit me? Can I fit my whole body? So this, Don't spin, you might fall. So here is the dress. Overall, I would say this, oh, I forgot I added pockets. <sighs> this dress just got so much better. And I chose that, like how did I forget? First of all, I did a quick steam of the skirt just so that it wasn't quite as wrinkly. It's not perfect, but yeah, I did a quick steam of the skirt. Uh, this material steams beautifully. The wrinkles literally just fell out of the skirt. I feel like because with my pants, I was a little bit afraid of making this too tight. And so I tried to give myself a little room so that like I could breathe. That being said, there's definitely room to like, okay, obviously you don't want it to be too tight. So I don't even know if I would take that much in. Um, but I feel like there's a little bit of room around this side to take it in. It fits well. I just don't often have, I don't wear a lot of things that are like fitted, but like not tight. If that makes sense. So I feel like overall the fit is beautiful. I love the length, like T length. It hits me perfectly at the knee, which I feel like a lot of the time knee length dresses um, anywhere else would not hit my knee. It is a little bit see-through, which I don't think I would notice that much because there is that slip underneath, but I do notice it because of the pockets. Um, I don't know if you can see. Is that Maybe the lighting, you can't see it as well, but I'll, I'll see when I'm editing. But because of the pockets, um, and there's that extra white material under here, you can see it a little bit, but I also don't even mind because my dress has pockets. I think something like this would be really cute with like a little belt. It's like, I feel like I'm getting ready to go to a tea party. That's what I feel like in this dress. I don't have anything bad to say, and I think that the only like fitting issue is something that can easily be fixed. I am the most excited for this trench coat. I have never had just like a nice basic trench before. I'm trying to fit myself so that I see my body from a distance, but then can also see my face up close. Tall problems, am I right? So let's just take a quick look. This is the full inside. I am so glad that I got the inside, that, that print on the inside. And then this, this is the full back. Let's see how it fits. Nice and long. Oh! She fits 
looks like a glove. Okay, so it literally fits my shoulders perfectly. Can we just talk about this for like a minute? Well, that's what we're doing when we're talking about it. That's what this video is for. This fits so perfectly. I, this is my new favorite jacket. Come look at my jacket. Oh, that looks good. Don't you Isn't just look nice? super sexy professional. Super sexy professional, that's what that is. You look like a grown up. I'm such a grown up. Love it. I know. You want some high flute meeting? Yes. I have all the meetings now. I love it. It literally fits perfectly. I don't know if I'd ever really wear it fully done up because there's also these little clasps. It still fits perfectly. A lot of the time I feel like if something is going to fit me in one place, it's not going to fit me elsewhere. And like, especially because I, I have a small waist, but I'm busty, sometimes they don't fit in things properly. I'm just going to do one of these. But hello, look at this jacket. There is nothing I don't like about this. Everything about this jacket is beautiful. The details, like, these are all just sewn perfectly. There's like, the buttons are all intact. Nothing's coming off, but even the pockets are lined. Like, everything about this, just, it's like so elevated. I just, I'm so in love with this. I feel like I need to go somewhere now. I actually have the perfect pair of like little blue heels that I think I'm gonna shoot this in. So, side note, make sure you're following me on Instagram if you wanna see all of this stuff in action at Tallest Mermaid uh, for all my tall fashion uh, or fashion anything stuff. I will also be doing a little write-up over on my blog, thetallestmermaid.com, so make sure you check those out. Final thoughts. Because this is not my first Sumisera experience, I am not surprised that I am very pleased. I feel like the clothing speaks for itself and as long as you are doing your measurements properly, uh, Sumisera provides beautiful pieces, beautiful classic pieces that are definitely worth the investment and they're not even like a crazy investment. So yeah, that, I'm so ha I'm going to get so much wear out of this. I feel like such a professional lady and a lot of the time, I mean, I am in my 30s now, so maybe I should be dressing like a professional lady. Yeah, I am happy. Surprise, surprise. You probably saw my last video. I was super stoked about that. Super stoked about this. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Eugenie at Simi Sierra for reaching out to me about doing working with them again. And I, I, very thankful I'm in love with these pieces. Sumi Sierra did not pay me to say anything specific. They're not paying for this video, but they did send me this product. Now, if this is something that intrigues you and you're interested in making your own order, send me your email. They have a referral program that I used last time. Um, and so it's essentially like a give 25, get 25. So if you are a new user, you haven't made an account, you've never made an order through Sumi Sierra, you can use their referral program or use this code, insert here, if you have an existing account and you wanna get a little uh, discount, use my code. Uh, so that you can get a little discount off of your next purchase. Uh, just so that they know that I sent you and I, because I'm raving about them and I raved so much that you want to get something too. I hope I've covered everything. If you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them down below. Leave a comment. If you've ordered from Sumi Sierra before too, I'll, I also want to know, so leave comments. If you are new here and you've yet to subscribe, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification down there so that you know when I upload new videos. Um, they're not always fashion based, sometimes they're vlogs, sometimes they're, I don't know, whatever I feel like sharing. That is it, that is all. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.